the laws which were made by NTSA uh, to curb about these circles. Be careful wherever they are using the roads. Well, most of them could not talk to me because of severe pain is using both hands to operate. This is quite serious. This and even deaths to many breadwinners and to hanging from outside. These matatus, a tattoo that killed eight people in India is carried out by me, Peter Kimodo Karanu Ab Kenyans have been waiting for confirmation from relevant offices if there are a number of deaths or casualties after every road accident. Listen to the police county commander, Mr. John Luganda. He confirms the number of injuries just some hours before the night is born. What has happened is uh that an accident has occurred at a place called the Bosco involving a, a matatu uh, belong to Keteno Sako and a truck belonging to Embu County Government. This was at uh, around 4.20 p.m. that at least one of the vehicles must have been at higher speed. Um, about seven, seven to eight people were injured, but they have been treated and discharged. But about four, four of them were taken to the theatre, had minor injuries, operation, but they are out of danger. Mm. Yes. Every breadwinner here is waited at home. Unfortunately, never arrives home, and if they do so, they arrive in bad condition while others are admitted in hospital in a very critical condition. The commander does not forget to remind the drivers that the traffic rules has to be followed keenly in order to reduce traffic and accidents in our country, Kenya. I believe the driver should not be reminded that he or she has to follow the traffic rules and instead should go back to the driving school if he or she has forgotten what she was taught. But what happens to the driver when he or she causes accidents? One tries to justify himself that was not on the wrong, forgetting that they have caused injuries and even deaths to many breadwinners and to young people who would be very resourceful to the country. Here is the Ketino Sako Matatu driver who hit with a county government garbage corrector truck at nine women and five men were left absolutely in critical condition.
taifa ya watatu kutoka kufika pale Don Bosco ndipo nikanini nikaona gari imetokea kwa barabara na na mimi nilikuwa nimekuja kwa kwa kwa, kwa laini yangu sasa ile imekuja ime, 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 ime tokea, na mimi nikaona hii gari vile imekuja tutakuwa tumepitana ndio alafu nikaona nimeingia pande yangu kuniingia tu nika apply break kwa apply break tena ikanini nikaona kama itataka kurudi tena nika apply ya pili nitakuwa nimeisha pia the sako chairman mr mwendia waroe quickly calls the media to confirm that the matatu was on its track but before he confirms this he condolences the families of the victims anaitwa patrick mwendia waroe mimi ndiye chairman wa ketno sako kwanza nitoe pole zangu kwa wale watu wameumia katika hiyo ajali imefanyika katika barabara ya kutoka Embu kwenda Kiretie na pia niombe familia zao wakuwe na roho ya kuumilia wajue kwamba tuko pamoja na wao o, jambo la pili ni sema kwamba tuko na huzuni sana katika hii sekta ya matatu wakati tunaona ajali zinafanyika ile soft the right extreme right na ilikuwa inatoka pande za kiretire ikikuja m and normally ilikuwa inapasiwa kuwa on the left sasa role nimekuta ikiwa on the extreme right side of the road kabia role my question here is after condoling these victims are the victims fully compensated Will the matatu owners spend their day to protect these victims from paying the bills since their matatu has insurance or this is an issue or this issue is forgotten after a two day bulletin just listen to some of the victims who managed to escape deaths on our roads ni ni kuja nikapandia gari hapo kwa Dondole stage. Kupata gari kutaramka gari hili ngoka hapo. Kitaramka kwa hiyo mtaramko. Gari ka anza kushinda kwa barabara. Then ikarusha kwa juu. Alafu kulikuwa na roli nyingine ilikuwa imekuja. Ilikuwa imetaramka. Na hiyo gari hiyo ndisha ikakuja ikakuta ikaongana na roli. Kicho kwa kicho ni Irene Mokami is one of the victims who has been involved in a very serious road accident. She had gone for shopping for her family. When she was in the Matatu, she could see the rolly coming from the opposite direction and hit them she was left with her leg and arm broken She has been the breadwinner in her family but this truck has cut her vision to her family short and instead now we look fast on how she will recover when Irene will recover i believe she will not have the same strength she had there before to work for her family she told me that she will withdraw her children from private school and to a public one until she recovers <laughs> Lucy Mudoni is one of the victims 
who have been involved in a road accident. Just look at her face. Her face is full of blood. Her leg is seriously injured. She is accompanied by a good Samaritan in this hospital, but you'll find out both of them they don't know where to start and they keep on running up and down she says her head is paining and her leg is injured mudoni is a single mother and a mother of one she left her child to her neighbor because she does not have enough money to employ a house girl. She is now in the hospital seeking for help. <laughs> This is how the road carnage is demoting our country's economy. Doctors are always not happy to see cameras in their hospitals, but when an accident happens, they remain busy working for their best to see they have rescued lives of many and finally confirms to the public. Madame Muchera is a nurse in charge of Embu Level 5 Hospital and confirms that they have received eight bodies and one succumbed injuries and dies. She says the driver was drunk and rude. This means if this driver was not drunk, the accident would not have taken place. Of the bodies that died on, on the people who died on the spot, we received nine bodies uh, who died on the, on the, of the people who died on the spot. Uh, well, uh, there was one patient who succumbed to the injuries uh, while receiving medication in outpatient. Uh, what I can advise the drivers is that uh, uh, they should drive the vehicles when they are sober. They should avoid taking alcohol when driving. And also, I, I urge our police to be vigilant in our roads because uh, this is an evidence that that driver was very drunk because I understand that some pa passengers can, uh, what is called Kawanjara because the way they assessed the driver, he was very careless and he was very drunk and he was very rude. When the chairman of road safety in Kenya, Mr. David Joroge Kiarie, and his colleague Mr. Edward Gitonga, chairman the speed governor in Kenya, arrived on the scene, they say that the driver was unqualified. The vehicle had unconditional tire and the speed limiter was tampered with. We are following. Like this circle today, the chairman and all the people who are in this circle should be able to explain why this vehicle did not have a speed governor. One, they did the fitting of the speed governor, you can see that, and they removed the speed governor, and we can still believe that it was removed immediately after inspection. It was a speed governor, but it was a speed governor. Why we were able to do that? Tumepata zile waya za governor zimetolewa na zimekuwa zime insulated very properly. That means it is a technician who did that work which translates to that that vehicle was on the road without a speed limiter. 
when you is this Jacob must be held accountable, even for the death of those people. We want to see action. They should pay hospital bills because that is the main reason why the insurance was, was fixed in that vehicle. A vehicle cannot move in this country without an insurance. But after an accident, these people become a blame game. Court cases and all the other things. I don't think today we'll put an insurance and then you tell me the time something happens, we go back to court to, to know whether you are going to pay or not. Kerry warned the lawyers not to rush to court and defend the Matatu owners. We are losing so many Kenyans because most of them and others die after this accident because of lack of medication. So uh, Road Safety Association of Kenya, we've been there and we have said and we have even talked and we have told Mutua to be very careful with his lawyers who are always very good in talking but when it comes to matters of road safety they are the first people to rush to courts because for sure the laws which were made by NTSA uh, to curb about these circles to make sure that even vehicles uh, carrying passengers in our country like now you see the big buses in our country the, and this time we say it very clearly you as a driver of a matatu or any vehicle which carry passengers this is not like all the other years when an accident occurs and then it is just left like that blame game comes and things are forgotten we say now we are following like this circle today the chairman and all the people who are in this circle should be able to explain why this vehicle did not have a speed governor such a one molo is a black spot on this nakuru eldoret road there are too many people that have been swept by road carnage on this road those that have been witnessing accidents in this area say the truck and the trailer drivers have been free wheeling along this area yet it is steep and has sharp corners <laughs> Well, <laughs> Juu hapa tumeangalia maxile tunawandaa tunawakoa Unakuta nisa ni megongo abiria juu ya madereva wa matulela Matulela wakua watu angalibu sana kwa hizi magari za abiria Plus hivo hapa tazidi kuona mafabu mengi sana kini Bila bila ni maa Hii enye unawana hapa siyo register Hawa hawa ni maa ni majina ya watu enye tulishudia watu nguwa na moto Kwa hile tanke enye likuwa ya molo si changwani District molo district si changwani vile kini Hapa hapa sama hapa hapa sama hali unona majina ni wenye wasa hiyo tanka sasa ndio kimaliza watu wa Free wheeling here is prohibited and still some do it forgetting their lives carried on this road Look at this car using the climbing lane and is driving down this hill giving chance for other vehicles behind it a chance to follow forgetting the oncoming vehicle here if the accident is to happen then it will involve several vehicles just assuming the traffic rules that one should not use the climbing lane or whenever is driving down the hill The Mau Summit Junction to Kericho and Eldoret 
is another place where businessmen and women have been witnessing accidents. One of the gentlemen say that several lives have been lost in this area. This man is worried that most of the school children lose lives in this area. He says that there have been no bombs in this area and this might be the cause of accidents in this junction. <laughs> One of the business women calls this place to tell warns the unqualified drivers and those that have been drunk while at work saying that they are the major cause of accidents in our country. She says they always risk their lives while carrying out their businesses along this road since they fear these kinds of drivers. <laughs> Which means yani waendeshaji wa magari waweze hata kuwa yani wakuwe qualified kila mtu haweze kuwa makini kwa maisha ya wanadamu maana sisi ni wanadamu na lazima hata sisi tukuwe na yani ile ile right ya kufanya kazi eh? katika barabara hii tumepata maafa mengi sana eh? tumepoteza watu wengi sana na lazima kweli tuangalie the Embu County Executive Officer for Health, Madam Pauline Jage, has raised an appeal to the Kenyans due to the increasing road carnage. She complains that our country is economically affected by accidents which happen now and then. Things that many lose their lives, many are breadwinners means that many children cannot go to school after that. Mm -hmm. means that it's breaking families. It also means that many patients, on the other hand, uh, break their limbs. And many of these patients who break their limbs have to stay on our hospital beds for not less than three months. This is an effect, a severe effect, not just on us as a hospital, even on the patients, on the families. Uh, economically, means that these persons cannot be able to cannot be able to, 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 to be economically productive. A second appeal that we all be responsible on the road so that we minimize or we eradicate road accidents and violence. Pauline told me that our hospitals have few doctors and if a huge number of patients arrive the facilities at once, the doctors suffer and even the facilities become less to accommodate the number of casualties. The health officer says that some drivers have been using iPhones that require two hands to operate while driving. She says one should not operate a phone when on this duty. <laughs> Hello. Drivers should also be sober. Some of the drivers are always drunk. Pauline added this. Pauline 
Pauline does not leave the Boda Boda riders behind. She advises them to ensure they have helmets worn on them and even by their clients. This prevents direct intact of their bodies and the service wherever an accident occurs. She says even pedestrians should be careful wherever they are using the roads. Many times we cross the roads rather carelessly. Um, I know that uh, at a time like this people are stressed. It is uh, January, people are looking for school fees and all. But um, it is important to be careful on the road to check uh, and ensure that uh, there is no traffic on the road uh, before uh, one crosses the road. Uh, because at such times we may end up blaming the driver, but yet it is a pedestrian who caused the accident. The chairman of road safety in Kenya, Mr. David Joroge Kiari, is now drawing a motion to the national parliament. The motion is to ensure that all victims involved in any road accident is compensated and compensated immediately the accident takes place. hospital bills because that is the main reason why the insurance was was fixed in that vehicle a vehicle cannot move in this country without an insurance but after an accident these people becomes a blame game court cases and all the other things I don't think today we'll put an insurance and then you tell me the time something happens we go back to court to to know whether you are going to pay or not we have this we have seen the problem we go to spinal injuries we've been there and we have seen Kenyans suffering after accident, like now this accident here, nobody will follow the victims. We only talk of the dead. He says this because most of them have been talking of the number of deaths, but forget those who are injured and even some will never be productive to the country's economy and instead they become a burden to the country and more to their families. Because for us to have the 2,700 uh, deaths on our own, you can imagine the number of the victims, those people who will never walk again, mm -hmm. those people maybe who are, <coughs> the, after the accident, the spinal, they had spinal injury, and uh, those people can no longer walk again. He says that most of the road users are breadwinners and the moment the breadwinner is cut his hand in such an accident or dies, the family remains hopeless. Some of them escape dead but painfully. They break their body parts and they cannot go for the bread any longer and instead they become beggars. Kerry is not for the lawyers that have been rushing to the courts to prevent the victims from compensation and for this reason he wants these lawyers and says they should be truthful even to themselves. We have told Mutua to be very careful with his lawyers who are always very good in talking but when it comes to matters of road safety they are the first people to rush to courts because for sure the laws which were made by NTSA uh, to curb about these circles to make sure that even vehicles uh, carrying passengers in our country like now you see the big buses in our country and this time we say it very clearly, you as a driver of a matatu or any vehicle which carry passengers, this is not like all the other years when an accident occurs and then it is just left like that. 
David is asking the government to ensure that the victims are even paid their hospital bills and they should be followed to their homes to ensure that they stay well and their families as there before, before the accident had happened. Their major aim to start this association was to fight with this issue of road carnage in our country Kenya and also to ensure there is total road safety. The mandate of the association is to supplement the government efforts in all matters of road safety. The association was formed back in 2010 by then Ministry of Transport because of the escalating accidents that were on our roads. And since then, my, my heart has been very close to matters of road safety in this country. You realize initially uh, we were losing, be, be beyond 2004, we are losing far above 4,000 lives on our roads. <laughs> na sisi wa watu ambao tumejitolea kwa pesa zetu atufanye kazi ya tulipo na serikali lakini kwa sababu ya kutaka kuhakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wako katika hali nzuri wakiwa barabarani maana yake tuliona hapo kuna shida ambapo tunapoteza watu wengi sana lakini hakuna watu hawaangalii ama hakuna mtu anayejaribu kuangalia sababu ama tunaweza fanya nini tu kumalizia hizi vifo za barabarani Na hata wanao angalia inakuwaka ni story inakuja kwa magaziti, inakuja kwa TV, accident imetokea, watu wamekufa, alafu bada ya siku mbili tatu, hayo mambo ya nasahulika. Tuko na wakati mungumu wakati huu kwa sababu tunajua baada ya jali kutokea, si watu wote huwa wanaaga dunia, tunakuwaka na majeruhi wengi, ambao shida yetu kubwa ni kujua hawa majeruhi, wana lipu wana nani, ama wanafaidika kivipi, both Kerry and Chairman Speed Governor in Kenya, Mr. Edward Gitonga, have been involved so much whenever they realize some drivers are demoting their good job of ensuring there is safety on our roads. And for these reasons, they make sure they visit every scene of most of the accidents. Insulated. It means yeah, it, 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 it was plugged. So this one goes direct to the governor. Yeah. Yeah. This to the side of the governor. This to the If this vehicle was if this vehicle at the This year the two were shocked by two accidents that happened, one in Embu and the other one happened in Yakach just 50 kilometers from Kisumu town on your way to Migori. Having a governor, it could not insulate. You get the point? Not being insulated. It means yeah, it, 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 it was plugged. So this one goes direct to the governor. Yeah. yeah. This to the side of the governor, this to the side of the governor. If this vehicle was, if, if this vehicle was, you get the point? But right also, now the condition also, it is in. But this is up, which was already in Chile. This vehicle was taken to a technician mm. to make sure that the governor is not here. Look at this police vehicle. They are not, these are not luggage, but they are 10 bodies and they are driven to the mortuary, meaning their lives are terminated, as Gitonga says. Na kusudi ya tutoke Nairobi, ni kwa sababu wakati hii gari imeianguka. Tukasikia gari imeianguka na ni gari ya PSV. Imeua watu nane maramonja. Hiyo jambu ime tushika sana. Ni kwa sababu, there is nothing. 
unaweza compare na life once somebody is terminated it means that is the end of uh, even his future so after their visit to Embu accident that involved Aneno Matatu, they said that the speed governor was tampered with and tire was worn out. When they visited the most recent accident at Kisumu, several issues were raised, and some of them are very sad to hear. Eight people here lost their lives, and most of them died far away from where this missile Sako Matatu stopped after rolling severely. The two road safety officials arrived at the scene and heard the following findings. Hii gari ilikuwa na speed governor but ime walitoanisha ile governor. Why we were able to do that? Ni kwa sababu tumepata zile waya za governor zimetolewa na zime zimekuwa insulated very properly. That means it is a technician who did that work which translates to we have this we have seen the problem we go to spinal injuries we've been there and we have seen kenyans suffering after accident like now this accident here they realized that the driver was unqualified and this is after looking at the friction created on the road from left to right bearing in mind that the road was very clear and there were no corners. See this tire burst since it was already worn out. Every passenger service vehicle should have speed governor fitted in them. These Kimisaline Matatu Sako have been fitted with speed governor and passed through inspection unit. But immediately after the inspection, the speed governor was removed and wires were well insulated by a qualified electrician as you can see them of the vehicle already mm. because when it was installed it means they removed mm. and went back. Fact, it was done by electrician. an electrician Somebody and one they know very well that if the governor was there yeah. would have now the printout you have the record yeah. so it is that is a problem with the this means that the matat was on higher speed and the driver was unable to control the matatu and what came in his mind is just applying the brakes and because the tire was quite old there was no option other than busting immediately this kimisaline sako realized that the matatu was theirs they removed it from their list as you can see while well, this letter signed by the chairman of the same circle authorizes it to work under their rules and regulations. It has raised several questions to the circle owners that have been going against the right of the victims. The owner of this vehicle is never brought to the board to explain why the matter to have been operating without speed governor if you can watch at this matatu and others you can fear to travel on matatu and instead you prefer
to walk even if how far your destination is does this mean that most of the matatus are fitted with speed governors and all of a sudden matatu owners rate speed of these vehicles with money and forget that people are more important than money the chairman speed governor in kenya mr edward gitonga explains how the speed governor is a two-way gadget and that one way keeps the data while the other one limits the speed liberated on what we call a new standard which was kenyan because the old governors were british standard the new governors are now kenyan standard so we deliberated and on these governors it's a two-way thing it has a governor and it has a recorder the governor aspect is to limit the speed of a vehicle but the recording aspect is to store data according to the standard for at least 72 hours that was done but there was a uh, there was delay of implementation because the standard was through by 2012 after the it took off uh, we really had some problem initially why the new governors were new technology however uh, as we st you started to install by March, there was an initial problem of around three months. Therefore, the, government, uh, the, the governor started to have effect around July. That is when now the, the new technology started to stabilize. A day of a fact, to realize the six months of late last year, that is 2014, there was a significant drop of of people who have been killed on our route. To me, uh, my name is uh, David Njerobi Thierry. I am the chairman of uh, the Safety Association of Kenya. And uh, I think uh, from uh, 2011, that is when uh, we were really concerned about the deaths which were happening in our country whereby we were able to visit every accident in this country. So with that, we have uh, a knowledge of uh, what the pain and what happens after even the accident. And uh, this is how we were able to come up with the Road Safety Association of Kenya to see what we could do, because this is not work of the government alone. It is work for everybody. Now, we were looking for a solution. What can solve the problem of our people? And in that, that is when now the new digit, uh, digital speed governors came. And that is how I came. Because I've been in the road safety uh, campaigns uh, from uh, Michuki's time. So, let me say, in fact, I think I was the first company to, to go through with uh, my digital speed governor, which the brand is Omata. And uh, this is because anywhere where there is an accident involved, I used to be there. So we know what are the problems. So anything which can come to solve this problem of carnage. Other accidents are caused by motorists, and this has risen rapidly since the former president, Mwai Kibaki, supported this border border sector. Most of the accidents in these wards are involved in motorbike accidents where some of them are either hit or while they are being carried by these motorbikes. Listen to the victims that have lost their ships from the border border riders. One of the victims says he all of a sudden found his leg broken and the rider disappeared. So <laughs> Alamu pandai ni kalau tu, ini.
hatua ya hao watu kuzukuliwa ni kwamba mtu akionga mtu ama eh akiwa hana license na pikipiki yake haina eh, insurance huyu mtu ashukuliwe hatua na serikali watch the following pictures and see how people have been breaking traffic rules you will always see ambulances running up and down in our congested towns trying to save lives while some due to traffic jam will not arrive in the expected hospitals their families remain mourning and suffering economically vehicles remain like scrap metals and bodies decay in between the metals if you see these names on this board you will think this is a register as some have said but is people who died on our road accident just because of disobeying traffic rules these people were burnt down at Sachaguan in Molo just some few years back it is very painful to remember how many people lost their lives at the center of Nakuru Eldoret Road in the hospitals you'll find many patients on wheelchairs while others are laid on beds crying just for their god that they will see themselves back and in normal condition boda boda the name that was given to motorbikes because of crossing people to areas where matatus could not cross the borders have been causing accidents and several are injured and even some die look at these motorbikes are carrying people without helmets some bikes are carrying more than three clients from far i can see this motorbike rider driving carelessly and leaving one man down the man is broken several parts of the body and only blood is flowing from him he cannot raise even his head such that you think he is drunk the purple has matatu had head on collision with a lorry while going back from barrio it carried people from one village from Kirinyaga county women and men were admitted while most of them could not talk to me because of severe pain some of them were fitted with bandages on their mouths to stop the blood flowing freely when an accident happens people will leave their shoes behind and the food they had planned to celebrate with their families when they arrive their homes some of the pictures show that i managed to arrive at the scene of the accident to see what exactly caused these accidents i met this man alone who witnessed this matatu lying at the center of this road and told me he only saw dust and realized later this was an accident nairobi naivasha road is where most of the people do not use the foot bridges and instead they stay between these high moving vehicles where any can lose control and contact him or her kindly look at this driver who is driving this vehicle at a speed more than 80 kilometers per hour and is operating an iphone which he is using both hands to operate this is quite serious because he later talks with this phone for more than 10 minutes meaning he drove the matatu in this busy nakuru road for more than a kilometer during the rainy hours of the day 
all vehicles should be moving with their lights on but when you look at these vehicles only out of 10 is obeying the traffic rules <laughs> This is Kisumu town. This is where the accident that killed eight people took place. In this town, people on my videos clearly shows that the matatu is carrying passengers in excess that others remain hanging from outside these matatus are following the police vehicles and not even a law has been taken against them just look <laughs> The matatu that killed eight people in, in this Kisumu town had been removed the speed governor and wires insulated by a well-qualified electrician. The feature story is carried out by me, Peter Kimodo Karanu. I've been moving around to make sure that all Kenyans are safe. I wish you a safety journey wherever you go.